Assalamualaikum and good greetings. So today I'll be watching a video titled British actor Conrad Khan questions the existence of God. So this is by One True Message Foundation. Um, so I guess there will be interaction uh, about um, the existence of God. Yeah. Is that for the do? Let's watch. Do you believe in God yourself? I would say like agnostic. Okay, so you believe so there's some, there is something, but you're not quite. Yeah, quite I mean, sure. I, I, I don't know enough to, to have made a decision at such a young age. You know? yeah. How old are you, sir? I'm 20. 20. Okay. Yeah, it's true, true. But my dad, my dad is, his family is Muslim, and my mom's family is Christian. Okay. So, okay. Which background is your dad from? Uh, he's from Pakistan. He's from Pakistan. Okay, my mashallah. Mom is from Germany. All oh, right. Okay. Okay. But, and but neither of them, are, neither of them believe uh, believe. Or they don't follow their own religion. They, neither of them practice. I At mean, all. They were born into religion, but I don't think today they're, they're not practicing. You don't see them praying and all these sort of things that they're doing. That is interesting background, meaning that the the father have a background of of you know Muslim, you know up up in the lineage, and the mother is, if I believe, a Christian, right? Uh, but they themselves, the parents themselves, are no longer practicing anything. Which, I think that is not uncommon, unfortunately, not uncommon for both religion. I mean, in terms of the, the, the existence of a creator, this is something which uh, I think most human beings naturally believe in anyway. I mean, it's, a, yeah, yeah, yeah. it's an ingrained thing. If you're falling from a building, you have that urge to call to something for help. It's, it's like, like it's programmed within us. That's, that's one uh, sort of thing. And the second is just like rationally as well. You see the universe in the order and the design of the universe. To say it came about purely by chance or just haphazardly, it's, it's a bit of a stretch. Uh, there must be, like with everything, a building has a builder, you know, a, bit, a painting has a painter, etc. So this universe and the design within it has a designer behind it. And, here, and it must have power and all, all these qualities to create everything that's around us and within us as well. Uh, so that's, I mean, where we sort of pitch ourselves when it comes to does God exist? Yeah, absolutely. It's, it's a bit irrational, irrational, even ignoring faith to believe, say that it came back by chance. Uh, in terms of him existing and then creating us and leaving us without any guidance, what are your yeah. thoughts? I mean, there's a book. There's a book um, by Dostoevsky, and there's a quote in it that says, "It's not God that I don't agree with. It's the world that He has created." Right. And, and all this suffering that is that has no answer is, is something that, in my mind, I struggle to comprehend. That's a very, very. Uh... That is an interesting quote, uh, which explains because there are some comments that uh, address the issue of how do you kind of justify the evil that is in this world uh, if God truly exists and because if God allows it to happen then is it a good God and if he cannot stop it then is it a powerful God something something like that right um, um, I would say a, a genuine sort of answer to the to this question I mean that's asking the question why did God do certain things not he doesn't exist in the first place yeah, but yeah. Why? now it's it's, it's good yeah, that's, that's, that's my, basically my, my train of thought is in that way as well, right? Because that question do not question the existence of God. It's more of, uh, it's more of like, should I worship you even though you are God and created us, right? It, that, it is that kind of question because it, it doesn't disprove the existence of God. It's more of you are saying that even though you are God, even though you created me, even though you create everything, I still don't think I should worship you. It's that kind of question, right? Now, number one, there's some questions that we can't answer because they're questions for God, okay? And number two, Allah, or we say God is Allah, of course, you know that anyway. He has no one to answer to. And there is wisdom that we can't understand. And for us, this life isn't uh, the be-all and end-all. Like, you live this life and you die and we believe there is a hereafter after this. It's not that a person can be bad in this life and evil and do all sorts of things and then they just commit suicide and that's it for them. There's no justice for those people who, who they oppressed. Mm -hmm. So I believe there is a day of judgment when this person is held accountable and depending on how they live their life, there, there is two destinations and no other. Paradise or the hellfire. 
and based on your actions on the, in this life, your choices in this life, dictate where you end up in the hereafter. Okay. Okay. And that is God's justice. So yes, someone in this life may uh, live a very hard life, very difficult, like the prophets and messengers, they lived hard lives. Okay, the prophet peace be upon him, he didn't live a life of luxury, he lived a life of poverty himself. If it was a case that those who are beloved to God would have everything in this life, then they would be the first. Now, when a person, when a child, for example, dies, this is what a lot of atheists say, I don't believe in God because why, if God exists, why do babies die? Okay? This is on the pretense that you deserve to live. You're assuming that you deserve to live. Okay? Life is something which God gave us. And if He takes this back from us, it's something which belongs to Him. We only view it as an injustice because we have we assume in our in our minds that we l deserve to live in the first place does that make sense yeah okay secondly that child who dies in this life yes it's a tragedy and tragedy for the parents for for us that live when we see it in the short term we believe that child in, enters into paradise every child who dies below the age of maturity and understanding they enter into paradise so although in the short in our short-sighted perspective this is an injustice if we see it in the, from the perspective of, of Allah, of God, that this person has achieved success, they've entered into paradise, which is the true success. Because a person may live this life, may be given all of the blessings and, and luxuries of this life, and use those to disobey or not achieve the, life in, uh, the objective of their life in this life, and then they enter into the hellfire for eternity. Have they, have they achieved success? Probably not. Of course not. Because what's 50, 60 years compared to infinity? Nothing. So this is the, this is how we see things. This is how our perspective on on, on life, uh, and that's where how you can understand the suffering. Okay, um, so the video ends there. Um, I wonder whether there's a, a longer conversation between them and where the discussion leads, um, because the, the the kid seems to be listening with a certain level of, of uh, attention so it is interesting um, where the discussion leads to right um, maybe I'll, I'll check out take a look if, if there's a full full conversation video but yeah um, I guess but to the question to, to the topic uh, or the, 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 the topic uh, at hand w about why is there meaning the justice of God etc so I guess the, the, the essence is there it is al already mentioned in the video and what do you think um, of course m most of my viewers from what i can see is uh, either from muslim background or christian background so we we already believe in god and we believe in the justice of god of course uh, but of course a any of you who do not believe in in god or in religion uh, what do you think about this explanation All right um well um Thank you for watching. See you next time.